guys, Wolf Girl here. So today I kind of deep cleaned my nursery and de-dustified it. I dusted it. Oh my god. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a little doll maintenance. Yeah. So every time I do this with- Oh wait, I <laughs> Every time I do this, I only do this once every few months in mass, so I kind of do maintenance on a whole bunch of dolls at once. So I'm kind of looking out for three things when I do doll maintenance. I look to see if they need any scuffs removed. I change them and I check to see if their hair needs any fixing. And before I started recording I already looked through all my dolls so there's no scuffs that need to be removed. Yay. And most of them their hair is in pretty good condition so only a few are going to be getting spa treatment. However a ton of them have been wearing the same outfit for a really long time and some of them aren't even clothed. And although they don't need any major hair fixing a lot of them are overdue for a good brushing. So that's what we're gonna do today. When I brush my doll's hair, I use this uh, kind of like hairspray detangling thing. It just keeps their hair from getting frizzy because you shouldn't really put straight up water on baby alive hair, especially most of the newer dolls. However, this mixture's kind of old, so I'm gonna dump it and make a new one. If you wanna make this mixture yourself, which by the way, it does wonders, it makes your doll's hair a lot easier to brush and it keeps it from getting frizzy really fast. So it's just clean water and a couple of squirts of conditioner. This is the one I'm using. It doesn't really matter what kind of conditioner it is. It just needs to be conditioner. Uh, okay, that's probably too much actually. Give her a shake. Okay, we're good. I'm also gonna be using these brushes. This is just in general. And this is gonna be for some of the nastier knots and whatever. It's missing some teeth, but it'll it'll be fine. You'll literally buy. I just realized I changed these five. Her, this is her fit by the way. Uh, him. Those two. Those three. These three, her, and her, and it wasn't even recording. I- Oh well, I'm not even halfway done, so we still got plenty more left. Let's hope I remember to press the record button this time. It's been an hour and a half and I'm completely exhausted. Here are the fits and most of them don't have shoes. I'm probably gonna- ouch! I'm probably gonna go ahead and give a lot of them shoes later. That's hers. Beautiful. Beautiful. I swapped out a lot of their outfits because I don't have an abundant supply of clothing but you know, more beautiful. 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 It's that as well. Oh my. We got these fits. This fit. That fit. This that he be rocking. We got this. There's that. Okay. This. She she really needs shoes. This outfit feels incomplete. She also needs shoes. She really needs shoes. And here are the rest of them. You can't see Charlotte. There we go. Why does she look like a gorilla? Huh? So basically I changed a whole bunch of them, or whichever ones I felt needed to be changed, like they had been sitting in the outfit for a really long time. And every single one with brushable hair, brushed their hair, um, excluding the bittersweet characters because I already do maintenance on them in between almost 
every scene of Bittersweet, plus outside of Bittersweet, so they're doted on enough. And although I only have like five dolls that need any real fixing, I'm too tired to do that today. So I guess I'll see you when I decide to do that. Yeah. Okay, hi. It is two days later and I'm finally not lazy, so I'm going to be doing these guys' hair. Honestly, most of my doll's hair is pretty much good, so this isn't gonna take very long. Usually when I do this, I often have to do like 10 or more, but there's only five here today. I'm also gonna be fixing up Elliot's hair, but the only thing he needs is just a recolor for the hair dye in, in the front, so he, he's not here. I can do that in my room. All right, here's the situations here. Jesse, Maxine, and Ava are notorious for their hair getting frizzy really fast, so even though, like, these two, their hair is not too, too bad, but I'm gonna straighten it anyway while we're here because, yeah. And Jesse's is starting to get pretty bad, so it needs to be straightened. I also think I'm gonna put a little bit of fabric softener in her hair. Holly, I dyed her hair a few years ago, and I've been trying to get the color out ever since, but, you know, I got most of it out, but as you can see, not all of it out. Her hair is like this, because I just took it out of the buns and I didn't brush it or anything. And Tess, I made a big mistake a really long time ago, and I cut her hair, and I tried to do something with it because it looked kind of ugly, in my opinion. So I tried to make it curly and it didn't work. So I sprayed her hair with hairspray and then I never touched her again. And her hair is extremely crunchy and gross. So I I need to like wash all this out and I'm probably gonna put hair, not, not hair, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put fabric softener in her hair too. Yeah. If anyone wants to know the purpose of this, um, it makes their hair really soft. Also, if anyone wants to know, like, more in depth how I keep my doll's hair good, because this video is not a tutorial, I have a tutorial about how I straighten their hair and everything safely, so if I remember, I'll link it. So, like, please don't try to straighten your doll's hair without knowing how to do it correctly, because unless you do it a specific way, you will burn your doll's hair. You will. Okay, I'm gonna get started with Jessie because I'm gonna be putting this fabric softener in her hair and when you do this, you have to leave it in for a couple hours. And I might leave it in overnight actually because I'm just really lazy, but you know, it's better to just get it out of the way. So all I really have to do is soak her hair, put this on it, and then just leave her in the corner to rot. You can't even see me, but this is the best I can do with my camera. Okay, wet hair, don't care. Uh-oh. She's she's getting water in her battery pack. No, 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 no. I don't need another broken baby. Go bye-bye. Well, actually, it wouldn't really be that sad if she got water in her uh, battery pack anyway. Because she, uh, she can't crawl anymore. And I don't ever use my baby go bye-byes on. So, like, her, her leg is just too loose to crawl. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of like pour that on. Ow! I got in a paper cut. Mm -hmm. The best I can do, I think. Oh. Alright, well, she's going swimming now. And now while we're here and I have the fabric softener out, I'm also going to take care of Tess. But Tess is going to need a little bit more attention because, like I said, her hair is really crusty. So I'm actually going to be washing it out with conditioner on top of all this. This is the, the conditioner. Yeah. I don't really like the smell of it all that much. It smells toxic. I was gonna say it smells artificial, but like, no duh, man. Bro, I'm not having a good time. She just fainted. Look at me in my all black clothing, like, so edgy. Yikes. Uh, why is everything so slimy? All right, Miss Girl. Time for this disgusting punishment. Ugh. It's 
my dad. All right. Boom. And as for these two, I'm just going to be washing their hair with conditioner. And you don't need to see that process because this is just getting a little bit redundant. So we'll be back. All right. Uh, now we're on the floor. And I'm just waiting for this thing to heat up. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just... Uh, how about it? later and I'm gonna rinse out their hair and then straighten um, those two are gonna sit there and dry Holly is gonna be getting a little special something her hair isn't super awful so I figured I'd just kind of like get her a nice little soak of uh, conditioner and then I'll throw some fabric softener in there for good measure yeah that's okay that's a lot It should be enough. Stir the soup. I don't care if it's a little chunky. Whatever. Just stir. As it splashes everywhere. And I'm gonna leave her like that overnight. Okay, I just hopped out of the shower and I didn't take as long as I thought I was gonna. Um, so Tess and Jesse are still not ready for me to c continue fixing their hair. Um, the fabric softener needs to stay there a little bit longer. So while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and fix Elliot's hair, which is probably only gonna take like five minutes because all I'm gonna do is just recolor where color has been lost. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So first I'm gonna just put this tissue here so no color gets on his face. And I'm gonna use a washable marker and I'm just gonna color like so and it's gonna get all over my hands but oh well I'm just a bit too lazy to get some clean water, so we're just gonna use hairspray for this. Yeah, works like a charm. How is it on your nose, pal? Brush the disaster out. Then cover disaster with beanie. Boom. Done. Okay. These two have had their, uh, fabric softener, I forgot what it was called, rinsed out of their hair. There's turnpike hair over there. So now I'm gonna, you know? I'm also gonna see what I can do about Tessa's hair because I kind of want it to be like wavy. <laughs> This is our situation, and I'm gonna be testing this out, and we're just gonna see what happens. It probably won't work though, but we will see. Okay, so it's Friday now. I started this on Sunday, and I finished all of their hair. I didn't film straightening Holly's hair because, like, I already filmed straight. This is part of my iPad case. Don't mind that. My iPad case is broken. 
I had already filmed straightening out Holly's hair, so I thought it was pointless, so I just did it off camera. I was also FaceTiming Doc, and I wasn't ready to hang up on her yet, so haha. <laughs> so here they are. Jessie's hair looks a little crunchy because I didn't brush it all the way through yet. I just kind of slapped her in her bed and just left her there. Um, Tessa's hair, the curling effect, it, it came out kind of wavy, so I'm not too disappointed. But, like, it also was all over the place, so I didn't get quite the effect I wanted. But I know that leaving her hair in those bobby pins for a few days worked. So if I want to recurl it, I'm just going to have to position the, the buns a little differently and probably use more than three bobby pins because that was definitely a mistake. I knew that from the start, but I wasn't going to go get more bobby pins. Here's Maxine. Yeah. Very shiny. Don't mind my mom talking in the background. Holly's hair is still pretty blue, but I got a little bit more color out, so there's that. Ooh, her hair looks pretty bad quality because it's layered, but I promise it's a lot easier to brush through now. And my sit! And here's Ava. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna be for this video. Thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, turn on ter <laughs> turn on notifications. And, uh, let me know who looks the best out of these five in your opinion. Yeah. Bye-bye.